Okay, so now just for a little bit of a change up, we've swapped out the bounce cards with the AL1 accent lights. Kind of put them in the same spot. Go ahead and turn off the lights and turn on the, the accent lights. And you'll just see the difference look that we're going to get with the accent lights. So as you can see, it's added some rim lighting to uh, the bottom of both sides, both the left and right side. So it's a, it's a subtle difference, but sometimes the small differences are the ones that uh, make all the difference. Okay, so now we're going to um, do the next shot in the MS-32. And right here we've got a, a wine bottle, and it is a very clear wine bottle. So we're having some of the same issues that we had when we were photographing the mason jar. It doesn't show up really strongly against the white background, but we're going to go ahead and take a photo with the bounce cards in the regular position, and, um, and then we're going to remove them, turn on the accent lights, actually exactly placed where they were with the um, camera case and the cameras, and see what that does. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights again outside, and fire up the camera. All right, so that's not a bad photo at all. It's a nice photo. Um, it, the bottle shows up pretty well, but we're gonna go ahead and show um, what happens when we take away the bounce cards and turn on the accent lights. Now when you have something shiny like glass or it could be silver or chrome, metal, something like that, they're very reflective and so whatever you do with light positioning is actually going to show up on the product in different ways. So we're going to go ahead and try this with the bounce uh, with the accent lights laid down and let me adjust the setting on here a little bit. Again we have more light so went from a 30th of a second to a 60th of a second and I'm at f5.6. Alright so you can see there's some more reflection points on the bottle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, just kind of change the position of the accent lights a bit and stand them up. And be able to see some uh, slightly different reflections on the bottle. All right, still, actually, all three photos would work in different ways. Um, let's try one up on the back. Um, like I had done before, just kind of putting it across the back of the photo studio. So I'm just going to rest it on here. It's a little more precarious on the MS-32. And, and then I'm going to put this one down in the front. It shouldn't be showing up on the frame. It should still be out of the frame. That'll give some highlights to the bottom of the bottle. Let's see how that looks. Very cool. I like that. So that just again shows you flexibility when you have lights that you can move around. Um, another reason why I really like the accent lights. But again, you don't need them to take great photos, but when you, especially when you have shiny reflective items uh, like things like this, it helps to have some more options when it comes to lighting.